May 2023, I created a new PvP alt and headed with my holding alt straight to army in low sec with the goal of surviving solo against all odds while making some kills. Many of you have asked me about Autress fitting, both here and in-game, so I thought I'd make a short fitting video about it. First of all, I appreciate that picture. It perfectly reflects the dark soul of my character. In Germany, we refer to it as the Sensemann, the Grim Reaper, but I'm not sure if a Sensefrau, Grim Reaper woman even exists. Perhaps it's only enjoyable for me, but how would she say? Who cares? Let's go on with the fitting. The fitting has some issues. The first issue is the tank. You always need to warp in at a distance and keep orbiting the target at that distance. I think an orbit range of 30 kilometers is okay. The second issue is the time it takes to reach a speed of over 6000. So it's very important that you never warp too close to your target. The third issue is the price. It's quite expensive and if you fly on the budget, I would advise not to invest. By the way, I've noticed a substantial increase in prices in EVE over the years, or is it just me? What are your thoughts? I would greatly appreciate it if you could share a few sentences in the comments below regarding the in-game price development. Always remember, a long web from a Loki or a Rapier can quickly destroy your ship. Avoid engaging those ships. Here's the deal. To bring that ship to life, I used some shiny, shiny implants. I used the mid-grade snakes. In slot 7, I have an implant that improves ship agility by 5%. In slots 9 and 10, I have two implants to boost missile velocity and the damage output also by 5%. These shiny implants ensure my ship's capabilities are optimized to their fullest potential. First and foremost, it's essential to highlight that this fitting achieves cap stability, granting you the ability to keep the MWD engaged indefinitely. While the DPS may be somewhat moderate low at 494, but it's okay for killing at least the size range up to battlecruisers. In the cargo, I placed two drugs. They increase speed and DPS with 5%. My ship boasts an impressive top speed surpassing 6100, making it an exceptionally fast ship. However, when I activate the MWD at its full capacity, we reach speed exceeding 9000. In the rigs, I utilize one rig for increased speed and two rigs to enhance my power grid capacity. The power grid and energy recharge range are the primary challenges in this fitting. I use rapid light missile launchers in my setup. While Tech 2 missiles, these launchers can fire up to a range of 41 kilometers, while Navy missiles allow for engagements above 50 kilometers. However, it's worth nothing that Navy missiles have a negative impact on DPS. My preferred orbit range is around 30 kilometers. The Tech 2 missiles are the perfect fit. Additionally, by using drugs, I can increase the DPS by an additional 5%. I fitted a Core X Type 500 micro warp drive, two Navy cap recharger, a medium cap battery, and a warp disruptor. You can easily point targets above 40 kilometers. I fitted two reactor control units an overdrive injector system too, and a ballistic control system too. If you want to go for the higher DPS, you can use the Navy version, but the difference is not significant. It's more worthwhile to use Navy drones, as they have a greater impact and bring a bit more DPS output. At the moment, we run at 6100, and if you want to increase the speed, remove the ballistic control system and insert a second overdrive system. If you do this, your ship will run 6700 fast like hell. You will lose a little bit DPS if you are fine with the speed of 6100, stay with the ballistic control system. Now, look at that. If you overclock your MWD, your maximum speed will go to an impressive 9843. That's incredibly fast. And the fitting is cap-stable, ensuring uninterrupted performance. 
Now, if you combine this with speed-enhancing drugs, your speed will receive an additional 5% boost, bringing this authorship to an astonishing 10,335 velocity. It's truly a testament to the immense speed this configuration can achieve. I mean, the ship can be very hard to fly, but you know, always fly what others don't fly. 